you to die for them. We're still the other to society. Even if they're supportive, we're still different. As you get older, like you're constantly having to challenge that perception of what is actual beauty. We knew we were in love instantly. Love is freedom to me. I think it's rare to find someone who like is always encouraging you to push your boundaries and like, you know, he's never telling me not to do something. Every day is just like a play date that our parents like let us sneak off and have. Would you die for love? I definitely have like played with what you would call masculine identities, but at the same time, I do feel really feminine. I think we've both come to a point where we're really both starting to embrace and explore the masculine sides to our identity. When we started going out, I think we really deconstructed gender norms and like what it meant to even like get in any clothes, period. I think one of the most beautiful things about being queer is finding these new beauties that like you were not supposed to find beautiful when you're growing up. The concept of beauty is really skewed and it can be anything. It can be ugly and it can be weird and queer and broken. It's a little more than just a gay, straight male couple. It really feels more like two souls that aren't confined by anything. And then I became what they call uh, the Bride of Satan. I don't really try and fit any sort of stereotype or anything like that. You don't need to put a, a label on anything, like it's your feelings, it's how you feel. Femininity doesn't really matter, it's just at the end of the day like what you see yourself as. But I just think love is finding somebody who makes you feel completely like at ease and free. Would you die for love? Um, I would die for love. I would die for love. <laughs> I, I would also die for love. <laughs>